Off the starboard bow is Tom Sawyer Island. It's a great spot for climbing rocks and exploring caves. But you gotta watch yourself in those caves. You can get lost real easy. But just ask Tom Sawyer and Becky Thatcher. Heck, you can even ask old Injun Joe. <laughs> if you can find him, he went in those caves and, and he never come out. Mm, but I hear his ghost is still in there, just lurking about in the darkness. We just passed Fort Wilderness, the last outpost of civilization on the river. Mock three, mock three, quarter less three, half twain, half mock twain, quarter less, red flag, Red flag and touching. The waters are pretty shallow on this part of the river, but that ain't nothing to worry about on account of our flat hull. It sits only about two feet into the water. That means that we can go on rivers that are just too shallow for most boats. Here in the backwoods territory, you don't see much civilization. Just miles and miles of wilderness with only a few homesteads and even fewer towns. Well, I'll be. Here's one of those homesteads now. Old Jed there's been supplying moonshine to the keelboats for, oh, a few months now. He said his business was just about to catch fire. It <laughs> looks like he was right. Before steamships come along, supplies had to be hauled up the river by them no-good keelboats. A trip back then used to drag on for several months. But now, thanks to riverboats, it takes only a week. I guess that's why you don't see many of them keel boats on the river these days. Oh, except maybe to pick up some of Jed's moonshine. Over there on the island is a rare sight. It's an Indian burial ground. Braves who fall in battle are brought here and placed atop those poles. Sometimes, late at night, you can see Indians coming down to pay their respects. Up ahead is Big Thunder Falls, the last sign of wilderness in these parts. And just ahead is the landing, where our journey ends. I'd like to thank you all for joining us on the Mark Twain. As for those tales about evil spirits and haunted mansions and singing bears, well, you'll just have to find out the truth of them for yourself. One last thing. A riverboat arrival has always been a big event here in Frontierland. Hundreds of cheering and clapping people usually line the dock to welcome our steamship into port. Well, they're, they're usually cheering and clapping. Once again, thanks for joining us on the Mark Twain. We're glad you come aboard. Approach levy at one quarter steam. Man the bow line. All passengers, stand by to go ashore. <laughs>